Hello. This video gives an introduction to Google Colab, which we'll use to plot data and analyze data using Python. Google Colab is a type of Google do document. So if you use Google Drive for other things, you have access to Google Colab. Let me share my screen. And here, if I want to create a new Google Colab document, I can go to New, More, and find this Google Colab. If you haven't used Google Colab before, it may not appear here, and you may need to add it uh, using this button down here. But I've used it before, so I can just create one. Oh, and by the way, another way to start using Google Colab is to copy someone else's file. We'll be doing that in class a lot. So if you can access one of the existing files like this one, you can always go to File and save a copy in Drive and make your own personal copy to edit that way and start using Colab that way. But I'm gonna go back to my untitled document. I'll just title it Intro to Google Colab and Python. Now, you might notice up here that there are two buttons, code and text. Those buttons add little boxes where you can write either code or text. So these are the code boxes. They have little play buttons for you to run the code. And then these are the text boxes. So in a text box, I write comments that maybe are useful to myself or to someone who's reading this file, telling them what's going on. So this is a text box. Um, can write helpful instructions and notes here to stay organized. And then I can also add a code box either by clicking this button or I can add code boxes in between other boxes by hovering on the line and clicking the button here. So in a code box, you can write do math. So you can do like um, five plus seven. And then if I run the play button, that should answer five plus seven. It's taking a little while. While I'm waiting, I'll maybe make another TED code box. Oh, there it goes, 12. Um, in, a, in the code boxes, you can also do things like assign numbers to variables. So if I wanna put the number 19 into the variable A, I can write A equals 19. If I play that, it won't look like it's doing anything because all it did is put 19 in the variable A. There was no printed output, but if I just put type A now, it'll actually print the value of A, which is 19. Another way to print values is to do print a, and that prints 19. Or if I printed A plus two, what do you think that's gonna print out? 21, exactly. I can also print text statements, like the classic, hello world. So notice when I pl played this box of code, it did three things. It put the number 19 into A, it printed the value of A plus two, which was 21, and it printed this text string. I can also combine printing both text and values of variables. For example, I can do print A equals comma A, and that'll print the string that's in quotes. So it'll just print verbatim A equals, but then it'll also print the value of A after it. So right here, it said A equals 19. So there's one more thing that I wanna mention about code boxes. Although they're intended for code, you can also put text in them to give yourself notes and information by using the comment character, which is the hashtag. So this is a comment that will not be run. And then here I'll say like X equals five, Y equals seven, whoops, Y equals seven. And, um, print x plus y equals, and then I'll print out x plus y. So let me see if I run that, it doesn't do anything with the, the comment, the hashtag green letters in the comment, that's just for people to read, but it does put the, vari the number five into x, seven into y and print these variables. All right, so that's all for the intro to Colab. Stay tuned for another video on uh, loading up files and plotting data.